So over the course of the past month, Microsoft has gradually been rolling out some rather interesting new features and changes for Windows 11. Initially, most of these changes were expected to be introduced with the long-awaited 23H2 major update. However, the folks at Redmond obviously decided to subvert expectations and just hand them out as part of the 22H2 Moment 4 update. Regardless, there are some pretty cool new features, capabilities, and quality of life improvements here, and in this video, I'm going to show you some of the more significant ones. But first, I post videos like these about twice a month, and I'm constantly striving to improve and deliver more quality content. So if you like what you see, please consider supporting the channel by subscribing and becoming a member. Your support would mean a lot. To kick things off, we'll take a look at what's new in Microsoft Paint, which has been updated with a couple of, dare I say, game-changing additions. First and foremost, Microsoft Paint now officially supports layers and transparency. So Photoshop, you had a nice run. I'm sure plenty of people will remember you fondly, but uh, yeah. The jokes aside, even though Paint is obviously not even in the same league as some of the other raster graphics editors, I personally know of a lot of fellow video creators and even some business people who regularly use the software to create visual explainers for different ideas and concepts they talk about. So I really do believe that this particular feature will prove to be extremely useful for a lot of people. Regarding the new update, you can display the layers menu by clicking on this little button here, and then you can create new layers by clicking on the plus button. New layers are automatically created with full transparency, and you can right click on them for some additional options. Now, obviously you're not going to get the full set of options that you're accustomed to in apps like Photoshop, GIMP, and others, but then again, this is Microsoft Paint we're talking about here, so let's be realistic. The other great addition to the software is the ability to remove backgrounds from images with a single click. The software reportedly utilizes AI to separate foreground objects from their backgrounds, and because this is so, I initially worried it might not work without an internet connection, but thankfully, it does. As for the end results, well, there's somewhat of a mixed bag. When you're dealing with images that have a clear and distinct foreground object and a lower detail background, it can actually do a pretty decent job. However, as the complexity of the image increases, the separation unfortunately becomes less accurate. Granted, even in this particular case, the software clearly did understand the task at hand, but still, the end result is definitely not something you'd want to use in something like a thumbnail or presentation. To get better results in such cases, you can first use the Select tool in order to specify the target object, and then select the background removal option. And in my personal experience, this method yields much better results. Now the next thing I want to talk about is something that used to be a standard option, but for whatever reason, was not included in Windows 11 initially. As of the 22H2 Moment 4 update, Microsoft has reinstated the ability to ungroup or uncombine similar windows on the taskbar. Since I already talked about this at length in my previous video, I'll just be concise for those of you who haven't watched it. As of now, you can go into the Settings app, navigate to Personalization, Taskbar, Taskbar Behavior, and then next to Combine Taskbar Buttons, simply choose the mode that best suits your preference. Speaking of settings, there's a notable change there as well. While the core structure of the Settings app remains pretty much the same, it now has a dedicated home page. You'll quickly notice that this isn't really your typical home page such as what you might have been accustomed to in the Windows 10 Settings app or even the Legacy Control Panel. In the past, the main purpose of a home page was to provide users with a starting point displaying categories for all of the different settings that the operating system had to offer. In contrast, the home page for the Windows 11 Settings app provides more of a dashboard-like experience, featuring interactive cards with settings that adapt to the way you use your computer. So for example, since I personally don't really use a lot of Microsoft services, my homepage contains just a few interactive cards. However, let's say you have something like a Microsoft 365 subscription or a cloud storage plan. In that case, you should see cards here for those services as well. But a far more practical change that has been implemented through the Moment 4 update can be found in the snipping tool, which you can now use to quickly extract text from images. Clicking on the text action button will scan the image for any text, which you can then select and copy just as you would in a web browser or word editor. On top of that, the feature also gives you the option of making quick redactions of sensitive information, including email addresses and phone numbers. Based on my own experience, I can confidently say that this new feature works quite well and is much more accurate than the text extraction utility that comes along with Microsoft Power Toys. Of course, for different people results may vary, but for me, the difference is pretty stark. 
The next new feature I want to discuss is something called Dynamic Lighting, which, according to Microsoft, aims to provide Windows users and developers with native control over lighting devices. Now, the great thing about this is that Microsoft is finally thinking outside the box when it comes to customization. As an operating system that accommodates what can feel like an endless variety of hardware configurations, Windows often necessitates users to manage numerous standalone RGB control centers from various hardware brands. With the new dynamic lighting feature, Microsoft is taking a significant step towards pushing the boundaries of customization beyond just the OS UI by providing a native command center where users can control the appearance of all all their hardware components as well. Or at least, that's the idea. Because currently, there is one caveat. This works only with devices that implement the Open HID Lamp Array standard, which, at least for me, means that none of my devices are supported. Regardless, it still is a step in the right direction, and in case you do have any devices that do implement the aforementioned standard, you can go into Settings, Personalization, Dynamic Lighting, and then just play around with the appearance of your devices in there. Before I get to the quote unquote crown jewel of the Moment 4 update, I just wanna mention some neat little changes that have been made to the system volume mixer. You can access it either through the system tray or by holding down Windows Control V on your keyboard. Once you do so, you'll immediately notice a list of all your output devices. However, if you scroll down just a bit, you'll also find that you can now control audio levels for different applications individually. So for example, you can set your system sound to max, adjust the browser settings to something a bit lower, etc. Just a couple of things to note here. First, the list is adaptive, meaning that it changes depending on what apps are running either in the foreground or the background. And second, the system will store individual settings into memory, meaning that if an app disappears from the list as a result of you closing it, the next time you open it, the volume level should be exactly as you left it. Also, if you take a look above, you'll see a list of all the different spatial audio settings that are available on your system. But that brings us to the headlining feature of the Windows 11 22H2 Moment 4 update, Microsoft Copilot Preview. God, that's a mouthful. There has been a lot of anticipation surrounding this new AI assistant. Expectations were set pretty high, mostly by the folks at Microsoft. And now that I finally got a chance to play around with it, I have to say, there is still a lot to be desired here. Now don't get me wrong, Copilot can do some pretty amazing things from writing essays through generating ultra-realistic images all the way to coding. But the thing is, those are all things that we were already amazed by when Microsoft released the GPT-4 powered Bing Chat. And currently, that's all Copilot really is. Just Bing Chat incorporated into the Windows 11 UI. Of course, that's great and all, but what we really expected was tighter integration with the operating system. Unfortunately, we're not quite there yet. Granted, it can perform tasks like changing the system theme and activating slash deactivating do not disturb mode. However, right now, both of those things can be done much quicker manually through the settings and quick access menus. It can also take screenshots if you tell it to, but by the time it brings up the snipping tool, you could have already finished marking up an image if you had just used keyboard shortcuts. There are a couple of other things here that I just can't be bothered to get into, so I'll just give you my verdict. GPT-4 is a remarkable tool that you can now access straight from your desktop. As for Copilot, for now, it's just a tool that has potential. Remember, there is a reason they're calling it a preview. Of course, the Moment 4 update came with a number of other updates as well. Just to go over a few more, Windows 11 now supports a variety of archive file formats, including RAR and 7-zip files. You can add an end task option to the taskbar context menus, and you can apply background blur to images within the photo app editing tool. All in all, the Moment 4 update was a good one in terms of features, and Windows 11 is finally starting to justify the title of a standalone major version. If you found the video useful, please leave a like and maybe even consider subscribing. If you'd like to support the channel beyond that, consider becoming a channel member. With that, thanks for watching, and as always, stay strong.